hello welcome i'm hannah and i'm on a vacation right now in california i'm visiting my Haley. hi <laughs> And I wanted to share kind of like my like outfits of the week, makeup of the week, that kind of thing. I thought that'd be fun. I always like deciding on like a little capsule wardrobe to bring with me on trips. And I wanted to share that. Before this, I think you saw the clip of my airport outfit. I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video because I forgot to film a clip yesterday. But I'll show you my outfit today and my makeup. I'm wearing Tara Moon's Venus. And that shift is coming through and phoenix and terra moons on my inner corner and i'm wearing a vintage dress from my aunt i'll give you another clip when i'm standing up i have on my vintage ariat cowboy boots that are so super comfortable and i have my vintage gucci bag with me too that i'm gonna be using this whole trip and i have my prescription sunglasses that changed my life and i love them this feels so awkward <laughs> nobody's watching except for two people <laughs> oh, are only two people? Yeah. This is my Chipotle outfit. I'm doing my little denim tuxedo and I'm wearing Haley's tank top and I have my white sneakers. <laughs> I'm new to these angles. <laughs> okay. That was good. Hello. So it is Saturday night and we're going to go out and this is my fit. This is a um, yellow and purple scarf that I got at the thrift store like two days ago, knotted in the back. I really like it. And I just threw on my comfy denim jacket over it that I probably will take off to go in the bars, but whatever, I'm feeling cute. And then I have my Gap black slim sky high jeans on that I'm digging and my white sneakers again. There was gems on the table. So I put gems in my eyes. I think it's fun. I'm wearing Luxi Margarita with my Kylie Mattes palette. I haven't mentioned yet that the only mattes I packed were that Kylie Mauves palette. And it's working out for me. My inner corner is Davina Soul Lays. And my lipstick is the Give Gwen Stefani, is it Tragic Me? The like browner lipstick that I kept. So yeah. I call this look, We Woke Up. <laughs> Hi Haley, you're in it. I called this look, we woke up and decided to eat food before we think. Hello, we are at a cute little view spot. So cute, it's called Top of the World. And I'm wearing this really soft Henley shirt from Abercrombie. I really like it. And I'm wearing these sunglasses from Amazon, actually. And I'm wearing my guava set. Why is it the Abercrombie? Yeah. yeah. I'm wearing my guava set from Set Active and my favorite Ariat hiking boots that are my most comfortable shoes. And I wear them almost every day. It's very sunny. On my eyes, I'm wearing my mats from my Kylie Mauve palette. My eyes are just closed. And I'm wearing Pretty For Your Face Asteroid, which I don't really feel like I like that much. It was one of my favorites from my video that I ice washed them in, but I don't love it. It just feels very powdery. So on the middle of it, I tapped over Lucy Venus and I liked it better. And then my inner corner, I have Terra Moon's Phoenix again. We just had a lovely lunch at Cafe Gratitude. Mm -hmm. Kaylee's nodding off camera in agreement. And I'm wearing my prescription sunglasses that I love. And I'm wearing this yellow maxi dress from Who Wore What, I think it's called. Really comfy. I like it. And I have my little white or off-white New Balance sneakers. My little Gucci bag that goes with everything. And on my eyes, I'm wearing Emblem from Cleona. Wonderful. And so lays from Davina on my inner corner. And then my lipstick is Runway Royalty from Charlotte Tilbury. I just wanted to show you my deconstructed makeup bag before I pack it all away because today's our last day of the trip. I think I used pretty much everything that I have in here, which is pretty cool. I have my little mini living proof dry shampoo that I got when I bought their shampoo recently. And then my just my nail clippers, my pencil sharpener, which I used to always forget on on trips. Also the nail clipper, but they're both really useful when you need them. For my brushes, I've used most of these. Maybe I didn't use um, 
this one that I use for like fluffing on my lower lash line, but I use most of my brushes and I don't mind if I have like two extra, you know, just to be safe. This is my foundation brush, which is not looking very hot right now. I had forgotten to bring skincare. So I ended up stopping at Sephora the other day and I got this little drunk elephant set that has a little night serum and a little moisturizer. And my skin is so happy that I did that. I have my little travel size glow recipe sunscreen that I've been using. I don't like it as much as I like my unseen sunscreen, but that one I only have a full size. It's a travel size, gets the job done. For my brows, I have my Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I really only use if I'm doing something a little bit more put together. I used it only today, I think, actually. And then my e.l.f. Brow Quad, which I think of as a duo because I just use those shades. That's what I use most of the time. I have my Too Faced Bronzer, which is so old and I've been trying to use it up. We're almost there. We're almost there. And I have a little bronzer brush that I've been using it with. My one blush option is this ColourPop one that I'm almost done with also. And I have my blush brush for it. My highlight, I've been using this Mary Luminizer, which I'm actually really sick of. I feel like I want a slight, slightly more bling than this one gives me, but I'm almost done with that also. And I have my highlighting brush. And then I have my one size powder, which following the theme, also has a really big pan in it. And I have my powder brush. This is my face base product that I use every day. And then I have my Tarte Shape Tape. I have my Bite Mascara, my Lash Curler, which I also used to always forget, but I feel like it just makes such a difference in my, in my look to have it. I brought my eye primer. These brushes I have sitting around. This is a Sigma brush that I love for my crease. This one I tend to use to like fluff a shadow on the outer corner. I have a bunch of eyeliners laying around. This is a Danessa Myricks. I have a ColourPop one and an Urban Decay one. And then I also have an Urban Decay black that I use to tight line. A couple lip products. I think I have some others in my purse too. I know I brought Charlotte Tilbury Runaway Royalty, but I also have the Give Beauty Lovable Me. I couldn't remember the name of this earlier in this video, but it's Lovable Me. I have the Fenty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm in Latte Lips. Really like that. I'm wearing it right now. This is a Kylie liner in Candy K. And then I'll show you my little eyeshadow selection. I packed my eyeshadow so quickly for this trip. I was really last minute. It was when I was like ready to leave the house that I was throwing this together. These mattes worked out really well for me. This is like exactly what I need. I've been using this as my crease shade almost every day. I think one day I use this cooler toned one, but I think this one just like works perfectly. And I've been taking kind of like a random one of these to deepen it up with, use on the outer corner. I've been doing some halo eyes sometimes, especially with like this burgundy one. The shimmers, I haven't like tried to do a full lid look with them. I just don't think that they would give me a better look than my single shadows would. But I have used them on the lower lash line before just to add like a little bit more shimmer. And then here is my single shadow palette that I packed so quickly. I've used every shade other than Luxie Starburst. And I think if I was repacking this, well, I don't know, a couple notes. I have two inner corner shades. I have Terra Moon's Phoenix and Davina Soleil's that I've been kind of alternating between as an inner corner shade. But if I was repacking this, I would include something either cooler toned for the inner corner shade or something just like neutral champagne-y. My thought was if I didn't want to use one of these, I would use my highlighter, which is usually kind of like my last minute go to but the highlighter I brought just doesn't feel shiny enough to just like it doesn't deserve to be in my eyes you know we have Cleona emblem that I really liked wearing yesterday Luxi margarita I wore for a night look with a yellow top Cara moon's venus we also have Luxi venus Luxi starburst divina mystic moon pie this one's pretty sphere space asteroid I grabbed it because like I remembered it being one of my top shadows from that video but I used it one time since I was here also and I just don't like it that much. The time that I used it, I topped it over with Venus and that made it more sparkly. And like, I did like the overall look, but I think that kind of gives me a similar effect to what I just get from Mystic Moon Pie. So I think if I repacked this, I wouldn't bring that one and I would bring another inner corner shade. I could even have omitted Starburst for another inner corner shade, but I, I liked having the option of Starburst. And I feel like if I did all these looks again, maybe I would have used Starburst. Like I, I did 
appreciate having it there, even though I just didn't get around to using it. So I'm going to show you my makeup, I guess when I'm outside, but yeah, here's my little, um, my little travel bag. We are leaving the area to drive to Long Beach for the day and then LA for the evening. We're going to a concert and then I'm flying home. And this is my little outfit right now for the little, uh, road adventure. I have this matching active set on that I've had for a while and I haven't worn. I really wanted to wear it. It's like a like a bluish grayish purplish color. I have on my trusty hiking boots that are my most comfortable shoes, secondhand from Ariat. I have this flannel that I thrifted right before I came and it's like a dark red and a dark green. I'm kind of calling it my Wizard of Oz flannel because it reminds me of the cover art for the new Kylie palette that I don't like the palette but I like the cover art of. I have my Free People denim jacket that I love. I stuck my little hair clips in so I can have a place to keep them safe. My glasses are broken. For my makeup, I'm wearing Davina Mystic Moon Pie, doing the most as she always is, and Phoenix on my inner corner. I feel like Phoenix is looking pinkier than usual, right? But always beautiful. And then on my lips, I have my Candy K lip liner and my Fenty Latte Lips Gloss. I meant to film my last clip in LA, but I forgot because I was rushing to the airport after the concert. I ended up not changing for the concert. I feel like that's a thing that I would always do in the past. And then yesterday I was just like, you know, I'm comfy. Who cares? And like changing in the car is inconvenient anyway. So I just went in my same little active outfit that I wore in the car all day and everything. And I was really comfortable. And then after that, I changed into my comfy sweatsuit again. This is my IMGA um, I think it's called like the Tatiana cropped zip up, something like that. I have the like big pullover version. I had gotten that new in like 2020 and I love it. And I had gotten these sweatpants at the time, but I've always been eyeing the zip up and I saw on Poshmark a couple months ago, this was available along with like a bigger pair of sweatpants. So I did buy that set and I like those bigger pair of sweatpants for like lounging around the house type of stuff. I have just like a plain black tank top on and I've been wearing my Ariat hiking boots, not hiking boots, Ariat cowboy boots with it. And that's about that. I feel like this has been a very um, all over the place video. I hope this was at least slightly entertaining. If you enjoy this, please give me a like, subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And I would be curious if you'd be interested in more content like this in the future, maybe a little bit more organized. Who knows? Either way, thank you so much for being here. Bye.